Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here I have is the high grade Universal Century from the not yet release, I guess, movie or OVA series, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Narrative. Now it's something that's pretty, pretty recently announced and if you really wanna know uh, more details about Gundam Narrative, check out my channel where I kinda cover uh, some of the details that were released to us. Uh, but aside from that, this is one of the mobile suits that was actually featured in the trailer was the Gundam uh, Unicorn Phoenix. Oh, uh, Unicorn Gundam 03 Phoenix Destroy Mode narrative version. Uh, so overall, I'm pretty stoked because I don't have a high grade Phoenix in my collection and I really wanted one. I do have the master grade, but I think the master grade is just not really to my liking. I, I, I want something I can pose pose pretty well and something that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Uh, but anyways, just taking a look at the front cover, um, th I think. I think this looks beautiful. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Unicorn Gundam series. Uh, so anything Gundam Unicorn, to be honest, like Bandai is going to milk me for all my money. Um, that's just kind of a given. So very, very happy uh, about this. And it's a pretty, pretty big box, uh, as you can see right here. So a lot bigger than uh, most, like, you know, kits I usually buy. And right here at the bottom, you can see it came out in 2018. This actually came out in June. This is number 213 in the Universal Century line. It retails for about 2,800 yen. Um, you could probably maybe get it for a little bit cheaper than this, but I think you're probably gonna be paying well over $30, uh, $30 on average uh, for this kit, no matter where you go outside of Japan. And it does have a little bit of a description right here, so um, just go ahead and read it at your own leisure. So it does have some details, but I, I don't. I, I'm pretty sure that this is the exact uh, FedEx that came with uh, like the Gundam base version, uh, as well as like all the other versions. So I don't think this is going to be a very unique um, high grade of the Unicorn, uh, but we'll definitely have to see and do some comparisons. And then you can also see right here the weapons. It does come with the uh, the armed armor DE, and it also has the beam magnum. So nothing in terms of accessories is going to be really crazy with this kit. And then looking right here, you just kind of see a front and rear shot of the kit. You also see some action poses, which not really too crazy of action poses. I mean, it's kind of just like flying around with little pigtails. Uh, but other than that, it does look really good. And then here you can see in November, the uh, little movie is going to be released. Uh, so I'm definitely going to go see it, even though it's going to be in complete Japanese and my Japanese is not perfect. So I might not understand a lot of things, but at least I'm going to go see it and uh, just get some of the action. So the first one we're going to take a look at is going to be H1, which is basically going to be the pigtails. Uh, and all this is going to be new, and it's going to attach to the uh, the Armored RDE. Um, so it's nothing really too special, but one thing I want to go ahead and point out, since I have this as the first runner, is looking at the gold. Um, I think this gold is just completely horrible looking. Like It, it just does not look good. To me, it, it looks almost like mustard yellow maybe honey mustard yellow. <laughs> um, but let me go ahead and I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna pull the paints. So this is the paint that I've been considering to use it is basically the metallic color. Um, it is a uh, bluish gold. Now I, I, will, I actually paint it uh, something to kind of give you um, an idea of what you can kind of expect. Uh, so this is what I painted. I just kind of grab the random you know couple pieces uh, I think this is from the Freedom Gundam uh, just to kind of paint it and see what it looked like I don't have any plastic spoons um, but as you can see this is a significant difference as far as the uh, the actual tone um, pretty much like the, the shine what do y'all think um, this is kind of like my idea of where I want to go with the the gold I think it looks good uh, I don't know if it might be too dark but I think just the way I have it imagined in my head, I think this is a great looking color. So this is an option. And then I also went ahead and bought this Prism Metallic Pink Gold. Um, so with this, it's kind of like, it has a sheen to it. So I don't know if it's picking up that well on the, uh, the camera, but it has like a little pinkish uh, hue to it. Um, I think that would look really cool. So I'm gonna test this out. And the color, I think the color looks pretty good. It looks like pretty accurate to what it is on the uh, the box um, but I definitely would like to see what this little prism effect will look like on the kit and then lastly I also have this uh, gold color that I'm not really too sure uh, how I'm gonna use it I, I need to test this out first because I don't know if this is um, 
Is this supposed to go on top of the base color? Like, you know, whatever your primary color is, does this go on the top of it? Or is this like a primary color in itself? Because I don't see anywhere on here that kind of states as a primary. Uh, but granted, a lot of this is in Japanese, so it could be saying some things that I have no idea about. Uh, but I think overall, I'm gonna just go ahead and test this out before I make a commitment. Um, but I really wanna go ahead and try this one out first before I make uh, my decision on which one of these is gonna be like my final version. And the next runner is gonna be runner B. This is gonna have a lot of the main armor parts. So you got some of like the front skirts, the body, uh, you got some of the shield parts, the head, you know, everything looks really good. So, um, you know, the, the, the parts themselves, I have no problems with. Um, I just don't know. I'm hoping that the, the painting process is gonna be nice. Uh, so obviously, I'll be, I'm probably gonna prime this with white. Um, but I, I might go look and, and, and get some um, black gloss. Um, if I can get some black like black gloss primer, I think that might be more efficient, but uh, we'll go ahead and see. And you're gonna get two runner C's, uh, which is gonna take a look at one of them, but you're gonna get parts for like the legs, the feet, uh, you got parts for like the arms, more uh, for the legs, but overall it is just uh, some more of the gold. So I have two colors in mind uh, for the inner frame, uh, well for the cycle frame, and one of them I actually did test already, which is a blue-green metallic. Um, so I think the color of this looks pretty good overall. It doesn't have like that prism effect, um, but it, I think as a whole it, it is a really nice looking color, and the part that I painted was this. So I'm hoping that can come on, come out on camera well. There we go. So this is kind of like what it would look like. So it's gonna be a lot, um, a lot more bright than what this dark blue is. But I, I still think this is a very good looking color. So I don't know if you can kind of imagine that. Uh, this is like where I'm, where I was going with. Um, so I do like this color. I think it looks fantastic uh, as far as like maybe uh, using it for the, the um, cycle frame. But I do have another one, which is uh, this, the little Mr. C uh, uh, crystal color. Uh, this is basically like a prism color. So you can kind of see, well, maybe not. I'm trying to get you to see the, the blue. So I can see the blue off camera, but I think because it all lights, it's a little bit hard. But there's a blue prism, if you see uh, with the light kind of shining on it, and it's it's almost the same color as this. Um, you know, I would say this is probably a little bit more bright, um, but I think it's kind of like the same tone overall. And I was thinking about using this and kind of attach it to here, or I can kind of use it as a top coat for not top coat, but um, as a top layer to this primary color. But let me know in the comments below, uh, you know, what your kind of uh, opinions on there. I'm, I'm going to test this out before I just go ahead and start painting, uh, just so that way I have a good understanding about what I'm using. And next is going to be Runner D, which is going to be like the thrusters, the feet, a uh, whole bunch of other things. Um, you got the weapons right there. So for the weapons, I'm going to be using this light gun metal right here. And then for everything else, like the uh, the thrusters and the feet and all that, I'm going to be using just basic gun metal. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. and I'm you know, pretty confident to go ahead and separate these two tones. All right, next we have runner F, which is gonna have the uh, the armored armor, uh, armored armor parts uh, right up here. There's gonna be parts for the backpack to attach and then more parts for the inner shield as well as the, uh, the little V fin right up there. All right, next we have runner A. So uh, more of, this is gonna be all that gun metal stuff right here. Now you also have blue parts right here, which is primarily gonna be for the backpack as well as the feet. And I'm gonna be using just a normal blue. Um, I think this is gonna be fine. This kind of looks like, it's, it's a very different blue tone, but I think it's close enough. Um, I'm, not, I'm not at the stage to where I can go ahead and start mixing paints to get the exact color yet. Uh, even though I have the guide in the manual, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start kind of just doing it offhand, and then progressively I'm gonna start enhancing my abilities. But I think this looks pretty good for what I'm gonna go ahead and uh, have an idea for. And then you're also gonna have this little part, uh, clear blue part right here, which is gonna be the uh, the face. And lastly, you're gonna have another F runner. So you're gonna get two of these, which is uh, gonna be for the armored armor part, and uh, pretty much that's about it. So you're you're actually gonna get an extra V fin. So in case you want to go ahead and use that for uh, for another high grade, you're definitely more than welcome to. You also get a little polycap sheet, and lastly, you get a little sticker sheet. And then we're taking a look at the manual, nothing really too spectacular, you get some color right inside there, and it's gonna be your basic um, unicorn kind of mold. That's what I'm looking at, like everything looks like it's gonna be uh, essentially the same thing as the 
other high grade unicorns so i'm not really expecting anything different or unique uh, but overall i'm still pretty excited for this uh, one last thing before i go ahead and conclude let me go ahead and grab it real quick uh, i'm going to be using some of the rg unicorn gundam uh, decals so i'm not going to like i'm not going to katoki it and just like put decals all over but I think just enough in certain locations uh, is definitely going to make this look so much better especially with you know it being water slides um, so that's just kind of like my plan right now uh, I didn't want to change the hands because like I had some ideas like oh I'm gonna change the hands out and maybe I'll scribe some panels and I'm like you know let me just keep it simple for right now and then progressively as I keep perfecting my skill I'll go ahead and start doing more like panel scribing uh, as well as some other unique things but that's it for me guys definitely thanks for watching I cannot wait to build this um, this is gonna be my first airbrush kit and it's gonna be to me I, I'm just gonna I'm just looking forward to it I'm I'm hoping it turns out well if it doesn't hey it's a learning experience but um, other than that guys thanks for watching definitely rate comment subscribe and I'll see you in the review for this Gundam see you later guys bye bye